War takes a toll on the spirit, one that coming home is meant to repay. A single ship was left to disembark at the end of a war, so costly that victory was scant consolation, and those crewing it had but one desire, return home. Though it set out under bright skies, the closer the ship came to port, the more violent the seas became. It was not long before the winds turned against them and wild storms lashed across the deck, as though some primordial force were warning them to turn aside. Sleep was fitful, and those who could sleep were plagued with nightmares of the most vivid and horrifying sort. Many woke screaming, or lay moaning pitifully in their bunks. When the ship finally cleared the breakwater and docked, it was at a deserted pier in an empty bay surrounded by a ghost town. There was no one left to come home to, or so it seemed. A search was mounted, and it was discovered that the town had been neither sacked, nor burned, nor struck by plague. It was as though everyone had simply gotten up and walked away. Rotting meals were left half-finished on plates. Mugs of beer sat evaporating on tavern tables. Laundry hung limp from the galleries, and not even a dog was left to howl his loneliness in the empty streets. It was eerie, but the returning heroes combed through the town even as hope faded, searching for answers. Yet, as the crew searched, a lone figure passed them by and boarded the ship unseen. Had anyone noticed her, they would have found her young and beautiful, though clad in rags. Some few members of the crew and returning warriors had declined the search and instead sought some small measure of peace in sleep, now that the calm waters of the bay cradled the ship in grave-like silence. One such woke to what she felt was a familiar presence, but instead found herself gazing up into dark, haunted eyes. Though asked, the intruder answered no questions, babbling instead about lost souls, elder gods, and dark magic. As she spoke, she seemed to lose what little hold on sanity she had left. Her lips twisted around words humans were never meant to speak or hear. The lone survivor of the town cursed the returning hero, and so vile were the words of her spell that the light was eclipsed, and an unnatural darkness cloaked them both. Moments later, the light flickered back to life on its own, but the survivor was gone leaving only one motionless woman that in her desperate search for redemption found death. She had come home to restore her spirit, but instead found herself in a battle to save her soul.
Jane. Adam, are you okay? I... I'm sorry. I failed you. What do you mean? You went missing, Jane. And... Despite my efforts, I was not able to locate you. I did a port... Mmm. A dozen nightshade mushrooms. Two stems of red horse hung. <clears throat> oh, Jane! I'm so sorry. Didn't mean to be rude. I was just so invested in this formula. Please take no offense. Josh! Jane? You're alive? Where have you been? I was dead worried about you. Uh...
this on myself. Love hurts, darling. Oh, 